Okay, ready then? Yeah. Wicked. Here we go. Star Wars. It is Star Wars. I feel like we're still watching it. Weird. So what was the idea behind um, Rogue One and not having the, um, the title scroll at the beginning of the movie? Is it just to be different? I guess so. Or was there a reason behind that? I think because it's not... It was supposed to be... It's when they were all standalone, one of the... Oh, yeah, when the first idea. Yeah. So what I like about Catherine Kennedy's like structuring of the Star Wars IP <clears> is that <throat> it was essentially the same as the structuring of the, the overarching story in Star Wars, which yep. was starting off with all good intentions and had some ideas, and then it just kind of turns Went out to, that it's yeah. not going to be that... Nope. Never mind. So what's um, happening? It's not like they spent like four billion on it or anything like that. So this this film to me is the beginning of the end of Star Wars, Ben, because yeah. it's exactly the bad guys at least have mm-hmm. the same idea again, just to rebuild the Death Star. Yeah. And then essentially that's what the climax is very similar to A New Hope. Yeah. It's just fighting. It. It's just battling space and fighting a Death Star. Yeah. It's kind of this is it all, it's just tying it all together. It's just tying those two together. Is it just bringing bringing it all? But for me, this is a massive step back from the awesomeness that was Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, it's a massive step back. There's still some cool, th- but oh, like, even now cool it's stuff. like like the way this comes over the top and then over the planet. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same as a New Hope. It's kind of like uh, we're still Star Wars. We're still Star Wars. Don't worry about it. I used to love that shit. The, what, the uh, commander ship thing? Yeah. Whatever it's called. Is it Darth Vader's personal? Yeah. Shut on. Do, does Darth Vader really need two TIE fighters to follow him from the... From where he was Star to there. Destroyer thing to, to the new Death Star? I guess so. Just seems a bit of waste. Yeah. You'd think though, like if they're gonna rebuild that the Death Star two after the first you just think you wouldn't do it. It's like when it's like when the two towers came down. They didn't rebuild the two towers, they made something different. Yeah. It was a show of defiance. But they've kind of just gone the same route. Well you either reinvent the wheel or you just do exactly the same thing again. Yeah. Depends how lazy you are, I guess. Big helmets, aren't they? Still wearing them. Still wearing those big shiny helmets. The Empire loves a big shiny helmet. They do. And of course, all British people are evil. They are. So all the good guys are American, aren't they? And then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Always come in. Always all nervous. Yeah. So this film goes under the pretense that we're still meant to believe that Darth Vader is actually quite intimidating yeah, and scary. Yeah, he's a scary guy. Which will degrade as the film goes on. And I think there's like a, a really small kind of flash of it kind of here. When yeah. the way he's talking to him and he's talking about the Emperor now. He's not talking about him. Him, yeah. He's talking about... So we're back on like the... Where he was Moff Tarkin's um, like little dog. To then he was becoming the big bad. And now he's like there, back to being the subservient. Yeah, I'm here yeah. because the emperor's not happy, and he's coming, and he is not as forgiving yeah. as I am. And he's even like questioning him. He's like, "I need more men. Can you tell him I need more stuff?" And it's like you wouldn't have said that. Like Darth Vader choked out a lot of people in Empire. Oh like yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. You would never mouth off to yeah. Darth Vader like that, not in any normal circumstances. And he's like, he's not as forgiving as I am. Which is like a quite an ominous thing because it's like we know what he does, we know what he did in the last film, yeah. And it's like, wow, if he's not as forgiving as this guy, and he would like murder someone like on the spot. But I think that's the kind of this. He's reached the peak and he's starting to go down as he's now like, I'm doing stuff for the emperor now. Yeah, so I think this whole film is it's <clears throat> it's a build up to the emperor actually becoming part of the story. Yeah, and so they're trying to 
make him the big bad. Yeah. So there can't be two big bads. So yeah. they kind of lessen Darth's role. Yeah. Um, to kind of bring the Emperor into it to be yeah. a bit more scary and, and like the the final confrontation to be be a thing. Yeah. Which it makes sense. So it, it only no. had a, a one film run of being the the big bad guy, and they really pushed it. Mm-hmm. Like purely pushed him as the big bad guy, but then it's like that kind of drops off in this one. Hey Ben, guess what? What? We're back on Tatooine. No way. You're going to die here. Again. Know. It's like every road leads to Tatooine, doesn't it? Yeah. Every road leads to Tatooine. Yeah. Even in The Force Awakens, yeah. you're basically back on Tatooine. Ultimately, why didn't you just say that we're on Tatooine? Yeah. It's like... Because we're, like, we're on Tatooine, folks. But I do, uh, like... Big time. In Star Wars, all the planets are... Like, they, they have one ecosystem. They have one, one ecosystem, thing. they have one settlement usually, just like a place where everybody yeah. is because but the rest like, of the planet yeah. is just like Tatooine sand. Tatooine is just rock and sand. The entire planet is rock and sand. No seasons. No nothing. They don't have a rainy season, do they? Now, yeah. that is a large door. It is a large door. I think one of the things... This, this was the first Star Wars film I ever saw. And then I went back and watched the other two. Yeah. And I loved it because there were puppets and muppets and stuff yeah. all over the place. And then when they come in like here, it gets quite thing. dark. And then in the background, there's this weird spider yeah. puppet. There's just loads of weird things in the corners and nooks yeah. and crannies. Yeah, it's really fleshed out. It's believable that there's all this kind of stuff going on. It's there's all these different creatures. And stuff. This is the first film that really explores different aliens and creatures to, yeah. a, to a really big extent. Up until now, it's just been Yoda and a couple of different characters here or there yeah, but it's like the canteen kind of thing yeah kind of, but that was like one contained kind of shot that was one yeah sequence one in the area. film whereas like in this there's a lot more that guy's tentacle must really get on his nerves oh yeah it's not like he can shave it off like hair no. it's just like a big long tentacle he has to keep like wrapping around yeah. and figuring out how to get it on in the morning yeah. he's got to get his robe on as well yeah. Do you think it's like articulated? Like, like, do you think it's like got bones in it? So, like, when you put oh, like it over there, it kind like of holds on. Like, but then having to be aware of like having to hold on to the back of your head. He's creepy as well. He yeah. really gives off like you know sexual predator <clears throat> vibes. Yeah. The way Especially to droids. Yeah, like, he's the very way hands he's like on. Getting torn, torn off like this. And look at his thumb. Oh, look at that oh, thumb. Yeah. That's a big thumb. That's a big thumb. Imagine what you could do with that thumb. Yeah. So, like. It's always said that the um, Return of the Jedi is a film of two halves, Ben. Mm. We essentially have the rescue of yeah. Han Solo. Yeah. And then after that, it kind of just drops off and the sort of story comes to a halt until we then go back. We end up on the um, Endor, Forest yeah. Moon. And then it's kind of like the, the final kind of yeah. confrontation and battle sequence. But other than that, you've kind of got not a lot in between happening. Yeah, well, so it's, it's a very really... small movie in a weird yeah. way. Yeah. Whereas The Empire Strikes Back, we were, were like, hopping all over yeah, the place. All over. This is a very contained movie, yeah. weirdly. No, you're right. And I think this is the thing when we were thinking of... See, just sitting down and thinking of the how the film is structured and what happens kind of when. You've got this big like opening act kind of thing. And then a lot of like standing around and planning and whatever before the final kind of like push and whatever. Once you get to Endor. So Luke's like a Jedi now, fully. Well, he's self, de- yeah. self. He's sort of, decided he is. He's decided that he is a full, full grown yeah. Jedi now. Um, he sent his two droids as a distraction or infiltration yeah. to get into Jabba's palace to rescue Han Solo. Have the Alliance got nothing better to do? Obviously not. It's one guy. Yeah. How important is Han? Yeah. To these people. But and this is the thing. What what does he bring to the table? No, I don't know if they talk about what do they need in general for? and all this kind of stuff. But could they not? Like, what were they doing beforehand? Like, were they a complete mess? Because it seems like they're going to risk everything to go after this one guy. And you'd think there must be someone like Mon Mothma or something like that high up in the rebels going. I get it. It's crap. Yeah. But. It sucks that he's there. Surely we are, like, we can carry it. We did it. We were fine before. And but we're trying to save the entire galaxy of, of, from the yeah. evil empire. We've got better fish, bigger fish to fry. Yeah. And especially to send in the princess, like your figurehead. Yeah, exactly. And 
a new Jedi, like, which is like unheard of. You've now got a Jedi. You want a Jedi on your team. And now you've got all of this kind of stuff cracking off. You've got now, like, we're going to go and send these two big people after one bloke. Who ultimately, let's be honest, he brought it on himself. He brought it on himself massively. Like, if he hadn't been messing around, smuggling and all that kind of stuff with a gangster and whatever. Yeah. You kind of forget that. This that, is this that, is he did he, the, he it was his fault in the first place. Well, this he is got what, involved with all that. Exactly, and this is what we know from this film is that this is the message to everybody out there: always pay your debts. Yeah. You don't want the bailiffs coming around or a big no nope. intergalactic space slug gangster yeah. to come after you, do you? So yeah. and he's been can't. talking about paying off his debt since like the first film, and so we know that he was a bit bit of a naughty boy, but then they're going to risk everything to go after him. And he's so, a criminal yeah. he's a galactic criminal now we're going back to this torture chamber specifically yeah. for droids for some reason Jabba the Hutt feels it necessary to I don't know like most of these rooms in his basement he's going to he's going to make them torture rooms for droids yeah. why? I don't know and it's, it's the thing that I think we talked about with droids in like the first um, we're watching Star Wars where it's like why what like the, giving them feelings and stuff, and then being like alive. The basically like alive. allowing this thing, like ripping that thing apart. Well, he he says, Jabba got really angry and disintegrated him. Yeah. FYI, that's not a disintegrated. Oh, no. robot. No, he's been just been. It's torn like implying apart. that because I that always, that always massively confused me. It's like what's happening? Like is he when you talk is about this? Is this because this he's not being disintegrated he's being ripped apart the guy in the the, the bin with legs in the background is is having his feet burnt Burned. yeah which I don't know how much of a big thing that would be to a to a robot but what's the idea to for them to learn a lesson and then yeah. not be taught I don't get it yeah I don't get it just have robots or don't have robots yeah. surely droids oh and for those who don't know we're watching the original original Return Jedi. So we've not got that really horrible, cringy scene of the dancing. Oh, the dancing the CG cartoon. Scene or whatever yeah, like the that. cartoon sequences. Yeah, this is like the proper one. This is the original Star Wars, yeah. And they didn't need to change anything. We're not watching, yeah, it's D Specials. Look, who's that, Ben? It's Boba Fett. Who's Boba Fett? Mm-hmm. I feel like he's not really much of a character at all. Yeah, I, 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 liked, I really like the mystery of Boba Fett. I never saw the holiday special. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's really good. This is the first... Well, it's the second time we've seen him. Yeah. Yeah, the mystery of Boba Fett. Which is now no longer a mystery, which kind of ruins it. Yeah. Um, we're going to get to... We're going to get to Boba Fett. Yeah. The TV show. One day. Not today. Not today. Today we're dealing with this mess. Right. Tell you, you don't see that in films anymore. A good old fashioned trapdoor. No. Yeah. No, it's like it kind not, of went not out since with the Simpsons like the... and Monty Burns. Yeah. Kind of gone. It's like a, it's like a James Bond type seventies kind of thing, wasn't it? Like where that kind of stuff would happen. But it doesn't really happen anymore. I don't, I miss a trapdoor. A good old trapdoor. Yeah. Remember the show Trapdoor? I do. Bert. Bert. Oh, someone's come in. And again, a very elaborate plan to rescue one guy. Um, in terms of the narrative, the overarching story of Star Wars, <clears> this isn't anything. Yeah. Like, let's, you know, they're, they're going to get hand, they're just getting hand back. Yeah. This is all this is. And it's, an, you know, it's, it's entertaining, it's fun, and there's yeah. Jabba the Hutt, there's the, you know, there's the Sarlacc pit, and mm-hmm. it's all good stuff. But ultimately, what does it accumulate to there narrative story There are multiple story-wise? elements in this plan that, I think when you start to break it down, they don't, I don't know how much they were all talking to each other. Because this is the thing, I, I, I'm, I don't know whether, you know, like Leia and Chewie came up with a plan and Lando came up with a plan and Luke came up with a plan, all completely separately, because it doesn't seem to be massively coherent. So now we've got Leia. She's going to go in as a bounty hunter to sell Chewbacca. That's the plan. Why? So it's like so because ultimately then she gets into like she's like like getting into his like his inner circle she trusts he trusts her so that she can stick around, but then they leave, but then Chewie gets locked up, so that is another complication because even if she gets saves Han, 
Chewie's locked up and they've got to bust him out. So they've got to sort that out. And then Luke turns up. No, he comes a bit late, doesn't he? They, they've already saved Han by that point. So they, you know, later on, so Chewie's locked up. We find out later on that Lando is there. He's already, she, been, he's already infiltrated. Yeah. Before Which, the robots were yeah. sent in. So, he was already in yeah, there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's deep now. He's deep in. He's deep. So, but... I wonder he what he had to do. Yeah. What do you oh. think, Lando? The, the, the lows that he had to yeah. stoop to to get in with this gang. You know? Yeah. So then we've got... So she gets in. She gives over. All right, here you go. Here's Chewie. And obviously C-3PO's there. So that's someone else they've got to rescue. So she... But then she, at some point she'll cut Han Solo down. Save him. Yeah. But then uh, straight away finds, it's like, Jabba saw through the plan. She gets locked up. Oh, no, she gets turned into, like, a sexy slave. Han gets locked up. Then we see that Lando's there doing what? Like, hanging out. And then Luke turns up. And he's like, you'll give them to me. It's like, but, like, you've just sent them in as a gift. So what plan was, how, who, where? What, where and how? And then obviously he gets like captured and then they all end up on the barge and then they go through the plan of like, and then they, because they're all kind of free and they save each other. It's like, was that the plan? That all this, did they want to get caught all together? Obviously not. Oh. I assume. But it just, there seems to be a lot of elements that say nothing really happens. Like, it doesn't mean like, we'll go, one person will infiltrate. It's like, Lando could have done that, right? Why do they have to give C three P an R two D two? Yeah, why couldn't Lando Lando's just like, got in yeah, and then integrated. at the night time, like yeah. now, sneak down into this area yeah. and rescue Han? Why does yeah. anybody else need to get involved? Also, if if Han is so integral to yeah. the Allied, you know, the, the the rebels kind of plan, uh, you're telling me they couldn't land their biggest ship over Tatooine and just say to Jabba. Seriously, give us the sky back. Yeah, because we need him. Yeah. And you're just a gangster. Oh, yeah. We could blow your place up. In 10 seconds. So you've got 10 seconds, give him over. Genuinely, I'd never thought about that. But you, that makes there's a lot a more whole, sense. There's a whole fleet of ships these people yeah. have. Like, couldn't couldn't Luke have landed his ex, hover his X-Wing above the building and just go, seriously, give me Hannah, I'm going to shoot yeah. where you're building up? Yeah. He says something about, like, I'll never give up my, my favourite possession or favourite thing, whatever. But, like, for the right price, I reckon he would do. Yeah, I mean, because if he offered him like, a million space books... Yeah, because I don't know why, ha- why he's so special to Jabba anyway. Because he, he must have, like, loads of people, like, smuggling stuff for him. Yeah, and losing, and, and losing stuff. Yeah, like, and, and you know, loads of people not part, paying the debts. It's part of the game, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's a risky take as a business entrepreneur. Yeah. And so I don't know what the whole... Why he even wants him back. Because if he's not going to get the money, you might as well, like, off him. But, like, no, he just, like, hangs him up. You'd think his wall would be covered with people. Yeah, well, again, this is that thing where turning people into carbonite isn't actually a thing in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, you are right. It's just something they... It's something Darth Vader came up with on the fly. Yeah. Because he's a sick fuck. (laughs) 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 And, yeah, the Star Wars universe likes to act like it's a thing in Star Wars. It's not a thing in Star Wars, guys. It gets into the Mandalorian, then. It's not. Like, it's carbon freezing everybody. It's just a random happenstance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's it. He just wanted to, like, put Luke in it. And he's like, the only reason Han ended up with it is because he's testing it. It was testing. Like, but it's not. Thing. This isn't a thing. It's like this isn't for putting people in. It's like it'll be all right if he survives it. It's like yeah. this is dodgy business. It's Leia. Look, everyone. It's Princess Leia. Someone who loves you. That's cheesy. Yeah. Ugh, oh, gross. She is gorgeous in this film. I do love her. Okay, that's fair. Mm. I know that laugh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I like that he's covering C-3PO's mouth at the back. I it's never like noticed that, that before. Yeah. He's covering his mouth. I don't know if that, how that would work with a speaker. <laughs> Where does the sound come from? It's not like Chris can't lose his lips anymore. He ain't got lips. It's so childish. They're all just hiding behind curtains. They all think yeah. like they're with extras from The Wizard of Oz or something. Yeah. It's like, just, just come out and shoot him. Yeah. Oh, 
But if they knew it was going to happen, why did they let it happen? If he quite, I... if he quite likes having him hung up on the wall, he's now an, he's now an extra problem. Now he's got to sort him out as well. I love how Lando didn't think to warn anybody. Again, he he's just done the dirty on everyone. Like yeah. he didn't know this was about to happen. Oh, yeah. to go down, and he could have <clears> warned later. Yeah. Later, don't go down because they're going to be there. Yeah. He had to have known because yeah. he was in the crowd. He was there. Yeah. So everybody's yeah. like, so later, <clears throat> we're going to sneak down and hide behind the curtains. Yeah. Lando or whoever you are, you need to do this as well. Yeah. He couldn't have snuck off yeah. and warned anyone. So he must. So this is the thing where it comes down to the plan. It's like. What plan? He must have. He obviously knew. He knew that she was going to dress up as that. Or did he not? And then was massively surprised. Was like, oh my god, look, it's Leia saving him. So again, it doesn't yeah, make sense. It doesn't make sense because Jabba knew something was dodgy because yeah. he hid behind a curtain. Yeah. They and everybody else there. did it as yeah. well. They were like, shh, shh. So she's coming. You have to have told people to hide behind yeah. the curtains in order to surprise Leia. Yeah. So they must have known she was dodgy. Yeah. But it's the fact that they keep like like, so that, that it happens to be that he's down that, hands down there now, in this dungeon thing. In the dungeon. But ultimately, was the plan to like how were they ever gonna get everybody out? How they, they would have Chewie to out? get Chewie out. Were they then gonna leave the droids behind as well? A hundred percent, they were gonna leave the droids behind. Uh, of yeah. course, you leave the droids yeah. behind. Here he comes. And again, his ultimate plan is to walk into this place. Yeah. So why do any any of this? Yeah. Just if, walk in. If it's like I'm just, just going to go turn in. up and do this. Just go in then. Don't you don't have to send yeah. Leia in? He's a badass Jedi now. He's got That's a cloak. A yeah. Looks like my ex-wife. Hey. I've never been married. I have. Yeah, you have. Twice. Twice. <laughs> what? What is C-3PO doing? Yeah. Did you see him? <laughs> He's just stood there. Yeah. And a rocket. And uh, old layer in the uh, slave girl outfit. Yeah. That's um, nice. Oh yes. I like that he's had one of those knocking around. What is C three PO doing? Get into. She's all asleep. They've had a busy night. Everybody's been just slept next to each other. It's kind yeah. of sweet, really, isn't it? They're all like awful gangster yeah. murderers, but they just could look next to each other. Room. How has nobody taken Jabber out up until now? Oh, yeah. He's just a big fat slug that doesn't move. Yeah. Look at that haircut. Oh, I know. It's so 80s. Yeah. So he's a bona fide Jedi now. Yeah. You can tell because he's wearing black. Yeah. That's not an ominous colour. He's become really self-righteous as well, hasn't he? Like, overnight. Yeah, he's really up his own arse at yeah. this point. He's just like, isn't, he's the first person he's come up against since he's decided as a Jedi. And he's just decided to go on there with, like, this massive confidence of, like, yeah, I'm a Jedi now. Yeah. So do that. We're back, baby. Yeah. We're back. Back in black. Yeah. But all he does is decide to Do use a blaster. try and shoot him. Like that was his in that was, that was the whole entire plan. plan. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna appeal to you, and if it doesn't work, I'm just going to shoot you. Like later on, like when they he meets up with Han again and, and Chewie and they're about to be executed, he must have just Han must just turn to go, That was your plan. Yeah. I thought you so you you've gone through this whole Jedi training, all this kind of stuff, and you've like messed it up on like your first go yeah what like why make that why make that your first thing surely you go out and practice some of these things this is why though ben he had to do that in order to fall into the pit yeah. so we could then con uh, confront the sarlacc yeah. not the sarlacc what's rancor. it the rancor thank you yeah. right he knows how scary it is luke is now realizing <laughs> how much he's <laughs> like, like up. i've really screwed this up <laughs> like oh that dear com- that confidence has suddenly gone that will you, you'll, you'll think that won't you when you see a giant bipedal yeah. 
reptile monster yeah. that's it's as big, big as like yeah. three uh, three story buildings. You just pick something up and eat in it, you know? Suddenly you're like, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Maybe I should have planned this. That's a cool puppet. That's an amazing puppet. I've never noticed how much that drool is just part of the puppet and just stays there. Yeah, yeah. It never goes anywhere. It's just that fixed drool that's just there waggling in his mouth. I've been watching like how it was, how it was made. And it's the, a rod puppet. Yeah. Essentially. But you know, it's, it's the how much they slow the camera down. Yeah. And, and it really the high works. frame rate to get that kind of thing. Because when you watch it, it looks, it almost looks silly how quickly it kind of moves. But as soon as you, as you um, film at a high frame rate and then slow it down to 24 frames, yeah. it looks perfect. It's got a weight to it. It's got like a, a real dimension to it. I it think feels heavy. The only thing it's that's slow. obviously not aged that well, because it's an old movie, that's mm-hmm. fine, um, is the kind of blue screen effect. Yeah. It has as bad a blue screen convincing as something like Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah. If you ever remember those films from like the 60s and 70s, yeah. Where there's like a matte shot yeah. or a composite shot and it looks not very not very good. Yeah. These look just as bad. Yeah. And this was done in the eighties. Yeah. But obviously other than that, it's it looks awesome. It's all cool. And this is a great sequence, isn't it? Yeah. This is fun. But again, it's in service of not a lot. Yeah. Narratives, you know, the overarching story, it's not really conducive to any of anything really. But it's cool. Yeah. Here we go. Sarlacc's dead. Rancor. Rancor. Why do I keep doing that? Mm. It's because the Sarlacc pit's coming up. Yeah. I was always terrified of the Sarlacc pit when I was a kid. Yeah. Because it was just a hole with teeth. And I was like, what the fuck? What is down there? Yeah. What is that? It always scared me as a kid. It's just a big belly kind of thing. I had nightmares of like rolling into it and falling into it. (laughs) Oh, the keeper's so sad. Yeah. Bless him. I feel more heartache about this keeper of the Rancor than I do any other character in this movie. I care so much about this guy's story. Properly I want a spin-off movie slash Netflix TV, uh, Disney Plus TV show on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I love... I love how those two are just conversing. Yeah. And they're so cash. Yeah. About, you've been captured, you're going to get murdered by yeah. a gangster. What is that in the background? What? What? What are you looking at? It was over C3PO's shoulder. Oh, yeah, there's like, like, yeah, a, there's like a thing hanging yeah, out. That, it's like a weird that? tongue thing, yeah. And it moves. Yeah. Sometimes it moves. It's like a weird lizard tongue thing hanging out of the ceiling. It's mm. gross. There's loads of weird stuff in the background. Yeah. What is that? Oh, we're back to overconfident Luke again. Oh, yeah, like... tongue's moving. Is that something out like of War of the Worlds? I'm trying to work out how confident Luke is, really. Because he's like, snap like, back to this. Like, yeah, oh, this like, is the last mistake you'll ever make. So now they're being driven out to the Sarlacc pit to be put to death. Um... So R2-D2's on the barge. Yeah. Barge. And he's got the lightsaber in his head. Yeah. Now, when he's serving drinks, his head is open with all the things sticking out of the top of his head. Like, it it could have easily been discovered. Yeah. Or fallen out or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, this thing. Yeah. Oh, you don't yeah, need that anymore. Right, yeah. Put the restraining bolt in. Yeah. I do feel sorry for handling this. Because he's just like... He's ended up like being frozen and he's woken up and found out that his friends have got the worst plan ever. Well, I, I, I personally, I think Harrison Ford's performance in this film is very, he's a bit, you can, I, I, I read it as that you can tell he's a bit bored of Star Wars yeah. now. Yeah, um, he definitely plays it like a lot more cynical in this When film. you, yeah, when you listen to his scenes and stuff, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of energy. No. He's got his, his, he has lost all confidence in... I mean, he, as an actor, he's probably lost confidence in Star Wars because he wanted to get killed off anyway. 
I just and think he's think fed up with it. So I think as so he's kind of channeled that into his into his character. Well, obviously like, it, it made he's him. He's got no confidence in this. He became a megastar, and obviously yeah. at that point you just want to do some really good choice. When you've got the the ability to choose your jobs, yeah, your acting jobs, you pro- perhaps don't want to mess around with a bunch of teddy bears and yeah. pe- guys with masks on the faces in the middle of a desert. You might go, you know what, no, you know, I want to do the fugitive. Yeah. I want to do Indiana Jones. And again, I hate to just keep like ragging on this movie. Some of the some of the puppets, some of the makeups are awesome, mm. and some of them are terrible. Yeah. If you look at like the extras and the guys, the guards that are on this mini barge thing with Luke and Han, they're just masks. Yeah. They're just really crap Halloween mask yeah. guys. And when you think this is the final Star Wars movie, mm. to me it should be so much bigger and more yeah. expensive looking. I mean, that dog face man looks like dog shit. <laughs> right, oh. And look See, at him. Is, look yeah, at that. Yeah. It's not great. But this is the thing. This is where the plans all come together. Where did they... It's not a, coming together. No, no, but he's it's not... It's not. No, yeah, but he nods at... Um, at um, what's his name? Lando. Like, Lando knows what's going off. He knows to get there to fire that up. It's like, when did these go... Like, Come on, come together to have a chat about this. Like this is the plan. Yeah, we knew this was going to happen. We got Lando on the barge. We got like R two ready to fire that off. We we always knew it was going to be fine. People are just dropping like flies. Like who are these guys? They're supposed to be international gangsters. Yeah. Where are the weapons? Where is the like the battle? They just get chumped, killed. Everybody. Everybody's just dropping like he's dead now. You've got oh, yeah. you've got Boba Fett <laughs> stepping into the fray, yeah. and he dies like a chump. He does. So I don't know how much he's in, like why he's so invested in this bit anyway. What's he doing now? He's... he's just stood there. Yeah. Do something. Kill someone. Yeah. It's a comedy sequence. Yeah. It's literally a comedy sequence. Why do people think Boba Fett is so cool I when think... he's really not that cool? Yeah. He's not. He, it, that, he died in a comedy sequence. A blind guy turned around like, <clears throat> where is he? Yeah. Yeah. And hits his yeah. jetpack. And he does that scream as well. Yeah. I do think it's like, it's an injustice of the character. I think he was, he got quite a lot. But again... He was cooler in Empire. <clears throat> yeah, he was. He was. Thing. He was a danger. He was threatening. Yeah, just like Darth He'd Vader come up was. With some ideas, like when he was like when he was floating in the garbage, so that he could follow them. You know, he came up with all kinds of ideas to track them and pl- find them. He was a scary guy because he was going to get you, and that's kind of what happens. And then it turns out like he ends up here, and they just that's it. It's done. One thing we know about Princess Leia, she gives good head. Ooh. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> But I think the filmmakers must have... They, they must have watched Empire Strikes Back and gone, this has gone quite serious and quite dark. We yeah. actually want this to be more kid-friendly. Yeah. And then we're going to make Empire. Yeah. Uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Because it feels that way. It feels a lot kiddier and stuff. Yeah. And again, like the Stormtroopers... They're very... I mean, we'll get to that later, I suppose, in the battle sequence, but they they die like chumps. They mm. just get taken out all over the place. There's no um, threat. Why has Han changed his mind about Lando? Yeah. He should hate him still. Yeah. Is, is, when he got put in carbonite... He's not even seen him since, has he? Yeah, we know that he's helped... Help yeah. the gang out and and try to make redeem himself. We yeah. know that, but but like when he left him, him, like he was like hated him, and then like he like suddenly like he's on a barge with him. He doesn't even know it's him, and then like best mates again. Ooh. 
You got shot in the hand. And they're off. And they're off. Also, not for nothing, with Luke again. Mm -hmm. Self-proclaimed Jedi, right? Yeah. He's come to rescue his friend. Did he have to murder everybody? Yeah. To do that. Like, again, what has Jabba done? Yeah. He's a gangster, and yeah. that's fair enough. He's not a great He's not a great guy. But in this universe, there's loads of people that aren't very nice, right? Yeah. And again... He's what? murdered yeah. everybody. Yeah. He's blown the barge to pieces. How many people are on that barge who hadn't done anything? Yeah. There were nothing to do with this. Yeah. We're not thinking Leia's already that. killed Jabba. Mm -hmm. He, Luke has murdered everybody. Yeah. Why? And it's seen as a success. It's like, yeah, we, we, we we're seen, heroes. We've got one guy. We got that one guy out. And we've murdered and so was, many, yeah. so many lives. I mean, Tatooine's not even a big place. Like he's no. literally murdered half the town. Yeah. And he's the hero of the day. It's like, ah, yeah, that was all a success, wasn't it? It's like, it, you were lucky to have got out of that because it was a mess. It was a mess. It was mess. a complete mess. You had no clue what you're doing. And, like, Han must be, like, flipping heck. If you are, like, the like the brains of the outfit of planning on, like, how to topple the Empire, it's like, we're screwed. We're screwed. If you can't sort this out, then I don't know what I'm going in for. Do you think when Luke and Han sit down and have a, have a beer together and talk, and he goes like, Luke says to Han, like, what kind of name's Han Solo? And he goes, all right, you're, at least I'm not Han Solo. Your hand being cut off. <laughs> I'm literally trying to make a joke out of that for the last 10 minutes. It was a good one. I, it, no. It wasn't, it was terrible. No. But this is good. But you got the em em good. Imperial music. Yeah. The, the sub subjugation and of, of Darth, bowing to one knee. <gasps> We never thought we'd see that. Yeah. So this is our first real in seeing of the em emperor. Yeah. And who would know that years yet later, this one character would have about eighteen different names. Yeah. Is he Darth? S not Sidious. Sidious. Is he? Yeah. What was the other one? Like, he wasn't he, like, the apprentice of some other guy? Didn't he have a name in, like, the history? Supposedly. Something or other. Darth Plagueis. Plagueis. Oh, Pla I don't know. He was, like, his master or something. So, obviously, like, the Emperor's the big bad, and yeah. Darth just isn't anymore. No. Because he's like, you like, will bring him to me, you're yeah. going to do this, this is yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, you are, like, old news, mate. You're doing what like, I need. Like, you were spot on until, like, Luke's turned up, and now we're like, I don't need you anymore. Like, you you can go fetch him, and imagine that. Imagine, like... If fetch, you, boy. Imagine, like, in your job. Like, you were basically told, right, you're going to be fired, we've got someone else coming in. So... Could you go and pick up that person? Yeah, and train him up. Like, with, you know. like bring him here, and whatever. Really, I could do with, like, them killing you. That's the plan. He'd be like, you'd be like, oh. I don't know how I feel I about it. Mm. I feel a bit sad. Yeah. We're back with Yoda. Hey, everyone, it's Yoda. Oh... We need to complete the training, of course. He's not been yeah. trained. So, obviously, we're coming back now to the overarching plan. The whole of the Star Wars you know, trilogy films have all been about um, toppling the Empire mm. and the plan of uh, Yoda yeah. and Obi-Wan Kenobi to kind of, I, I guess, kind of um, make the, the prophecy or whatever come true yeah. to bring balance to the Force and all this kind of crap that is not in these movies. Yeah. Some people don't know that, though. Some people just remember it wrong and mm. think it's in... It, it isn't. It's not... Like, Luke isn't the chosen one. There's nothing about a prophecy. or yeah. None of that's in, this, in these movies. No. But their plan was to train up Luke, yeah. who we now know, or will know, uh, is, is, the, is the son of Darth, Darth Vader, or Anakin Skywalker, yeah. to, to hide him away... On a, on a desert planet 
near where Darth Vader's been before. Yeah, don't Didn't change, change his, his last, last name. name. No. Um, Yoda goes off and doesn't get involved at all until later. Yeah. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi sort of starts to train Luke, yeah. then gets murked yeah. or commits suicide via Darth Vader, and then the old and now crippled Yoda yeah. gives um, Luke some half ass training. Yes. And then we find out he has also has a sister who doesn't get any of this stuff. Yeah. Not even that stuff. <clears throat> and then like Luke's been... So he ran off, didn't finish his training, decides to come back. Despite telling everybody he's a Jedi, he really knows he's not a Jedi. So well, he's he, not. So he knows he's kind of got to go back and have some of this, like, mental, weird, like, running around kind of not actual Jedi, tra- oh, Jedi training. Oh, I've got to go back to that cave again. And then he turns up to see... Yeah, Who am I going to invite? Like, Whose head am I going to cut off now in this cave? Yeah. My mother. Then he turns up to see Yoda and he's like, yeah, there's no more training to give you. And he's like, oh, I am a Jedi then. He's like, no. It's not when he laughs at him. I love that bit. He's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Your yeah. mother's name was Padme. Yeah. Luke's like, like, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it's like, well, That's crazy. It's like, right, you're going to have to kill your dad now. Now kill your dad. Now kill your dad. Now kill your dad, please. Yeah. So it was one thing when we said you had to go out and face Darth Vader, but you weren't ready, kind of yet. But it is you're going to have to. Now you know that he's your dad. Yeah. It's like, yeah. The plan Murder has, him. The plan has not changed. You need to kill your dad. You must confront your yeah. father. But basically, Luke's like, I can't kill my dad. So it's All like, right, well, you're asking me to murder somebody now. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and this is the thing. Like, we just talked about him blowing up a ship full of people. He's not even... But that didn't even register on his murderometer. Like, it's not a thing. Like, he didn't think, like... Oh, Murderometer. Cool, right? <laughs> but didn't even think good, about yeah. it. Didn't even think, like, oh, I've just killed a load of people. Because it was all part of, like, an intertwining plan. He was defending himself, whatever. But now, he has got to seek him out and kill him. It's not even like, yeah. a, 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 I've, I've might come across him and I've got to defend myself. It's like, no, you've got to go and murder him. Off you go. Go and sort it out. Now, you know, he's, he's your dad. Yeah. Go and sort him out. So he's... Yeah, so he's going to murder his dad, who's not the emperor, no. who's not the big bad. I guess he has to confront his dad for family reasons, like yeah. it's an emotional journey, which yeah. I get and I understand. And that's not a bad thing, because yes, we lose Darth Vader as this kind of intimidating force, yeah. but we get him as this kind of, it's almost like an interpersonal family yeah. kind of um, just, story. Yeah. Which is cool, but... I'd rather Darth Vader still be awesome and yeah. badass and go out like a hero. I suppose he does, but, but I, I don't know. I do feel for Darth Vader in the sense that, like, like this is the the, the dynamic between, like, the Jedi and the Sith in this kind of situation. It's like the Jedi are like, what's, yeah, what, you what's found Sith, out... Sith, then? Not, mm, yeah. what, what do you mean? What? Yeah. That sounds stupid. <laughs> that sounds really dumb. What are you talking about? The light side and the dark side. That's basically what it was back then. In the, in the in old money, it was Jedi and the dark side. That's what it was, wasn't it? But like... Yeah, in old money. <laughs> like that, yeah. we, we never called it the light side <laughs> yeah, back yeah. in the day either. Yeah. So then we've, so we've got... Oh, like... can I charge my thing up? Will that, is that now yeah. fine? Can I stick that in that? Will that charge yeah. it? Yeah. Sorry. Can I bring this over here? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, continue. So yeah, so you've got the Jedi, like who are going like, you must confront Darth Vader. You must confront him. All right, you found out he's your dad. Whoops. Yeah, you've got to go out and kill your dad. And then you find out that like, Emperor Palpatine is like the same thing. He's like, yeah, kill your dad. Kill your dad. Kill your dad. And Luke must be like, I don't. Know Hold what's on, happening. that's true. So yeah. what? The, the, it's, it's, they both want the same thing. They both want the same thing. That's true. But Luke's like, I can't kill my dad. Like, I can't do it. It's just crazy. And then you've got, like, the Emperor trying to get to kill him as well. Because he'll turn to the dark side. Doesn't know what to do. It's like, well, yeah. They're both driving Luke into a wedge. <laughs> it's like, this is a nightmare. But it's the same place. Yeah. So what's the justification? What's the plan? This is what I mean. It all falls apart here because it's trying to pull all the string. It's trying yeah. to stroll all the, the things together. And it all feels very last minute yeah. dot com. And here it is. It's it, Alec Guinness. He's back, everyone. Everyone, the drunk. <laughs> Just <laughs> the, meanders in. The, the, the worst character in he's, the whole all of Star Wars. He's 
senile. He's got no clue. I what's just, going on. I hope that Disney don't make end up making a t- whole TV yeah. show about him. Cause it's, it's, bas- it's basically like that'd the, be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's oh, he's, a, he's like the Joe Biden. He doesn't even know why he's there. He doesn't know his <laughs> policies. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <laughs> he walks in. It's like, no, it looks like right. Is I think this is where Luke starts to lose his rag a little bit. But but this is what I love about uh, Obi Wan coming back. He comes back as a Force ghost. Yeah. The effect doesn't even go all the way around him. If you notice when yeah. he stood up, it, the bottom of his feet aren't Force ghosty, <laughs> right? Okay. And he and as a ghost, as an immortal being, he sits down because he's knackered. <laughs> like why are you sitting down? You're a ghost. You don't need to rest. Yeah. He's so tired and old, Alec yeah, Guinness, in this. You know, with all due respect, he's Alec you know, Guinness, he's great. Alec Guinness is like, look, it's, his performance at this point, he's, he's, he's not tired. even looking, not he's, even looking at him. Like, he can't believe what's going on. He's got the thousand yard stare. Yeah, because I think, because he was like, through that, the first film, when he was coming to sign on, he's like, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Like, look, it's not, oh yeah. He doesn't, <laughs> go all the way, his doesn't go all the way down to the feet. But yeah, he didn't know what he was coming in for. It was a bit crazy. But then, uh, like... How what, does... How does a ghost sit down? Yeah, yeah. You, we, How does he physically sit on yeah, something? Because it's a theory. You surely you're not sitting on something, would you? Like if you can walk through things, if you can see through him, you could probably poke through him, which means he'd fall through the log. Yeah, I mean he's a ghost. Yeah. He's he's a dead person. Yeah. Um, but I think at this point, Alec Guinness has had enough because he's like, right, so I've now got to do this whole from a certain point, point of, of view, view which thing. is. Like you were talking about, Luke calls him out on his bullshit and goes, yeah. you told me that Darth Vader hunted down and murdered my father. And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. what I said was true from a certain point of view. Yeah. I, you were lying. Yeah, as in like, this, this, was not, this was not planned out. When I first signed on to do these films, this was not planned out. So we've now got to try and like make him out to be even worse. Cause let's... Oh, you really are a crazy old coot. <laughs> Weird. But I, he's just, Obi-Wan has just got no chance. He's, he's a terrible person. Because if we take him as face value and say that this was the plan all the way through. Forget the writing and whatever like that. Because you, you, you can't take... You, if you, you're watching the films. You're not thinking about like, whoa, was it this or was it that in order? No. So he turns up and he's like, yeah, Darth Vader like, killed your father. Whatever like that. And then Luke's like, hang about. Takes him three films, but then he's like, what are you talking about? Right. So it's basically like everyone's just like making it up as he goes along, like to try and get him just to do what he wants to do. Because ultimately he's like, yeah, I want I want you to kill him. I want you to kill Darth Vader. Yeah. So I'm going to make it out like, yeah, Darth Vader is a horrible person. He killed your dad. He's done all these terrible, horrible things. And then he turns up and Luke's like, and Darth Vader's like, actually, I am your dad. And he goes back to the things like, why? Like, you told me that he killed him. He's like, well, yeah. And then... Yeah. Kind of. And if did I, I say Did I say that? If it wasn't bad enough, he then just drops a bombshell out of nowhere yeah. on poor Luke that he's got a sister. Mm-hmm. And, and then Luke figures it out straight away. Yeah. And it's like, there's no build-up to that at all. It's no, just dropped no, into no, like, the who film. Who could it be? Also, sister. Oh, yeah. okay, I have a sister now. Yeah. In, in Empire, Who could it be? Empire, Who, what like, female character could it be? Well, and I think film? this is it. Mm. It's not like it's too late to introduce a There's new so one. There's so many to choose from. Yeah. So, and this is it. Luke's got to be like. Might be Mon Mothma. It could have been. Bit. But Luke's got to be like, I don't know who. Like, I, I know zero women. Zero women. There are zero women in the story. Yeah. There's like three. I just. And it, the one woman I know happens to be my sister and is like. And it, it, there is another. There is another. And it's like, you just happen to be mates. Again, it all gets dropped last minute, you know, yeah. because that doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. None of it, it doesn't mean, none, it doesn't really mean anything. I suppose it's just a driving force for Luke later. Yeah. There's that, but it's a plot, it's a plot device, really. It's not anything. So now we're going into the second half of the movie now, where yeah. we're talking about the final, the final confrontation between yeah. the rebels and the Empire. And it's exactly the same, the same thing, thing again. Yeah. So they figured no out difference. like that the Death Star plans like show that there is still like and we still can fly. Look at his hair. And Look beard. at that beard. Blondie boy it's over like, there. It's like it's like one of you know those like those like those, the sponges. That Look you at have. what he's wearing. It's like that was not that's not a beard. 
Like, it is a beard. It's a beard. But, like, that can't good be his actual beard. It looks like it's been put on. Well, the hair looks really, like a wig. Really it badly. looks like a fake wig. It's like 70s... It's like one of those cheap party 70s outfits yeah. you get, you know. Um, and apparently Luke could just walk into this very secret meeting. Yeah. And just turn up. And, and interrupt everything. Everything stopped. I, oh, and I love that little bit of dialogue. He, so he's just found out this big bombshell thing. Yeah. Like that she's, and he like looks and she just goes, what is it? Ask me again sometime. Ask me again sometime. He's no, like, just, yeah. just tell me. He's like, yeah, just tell me fine. now. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah. just tell me. Not even like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've yeah. got some massive news for you. Just, yeah. just co- like, come, like, come with me for 10 yeah. minutes. That thing that's blown your mind is equally as important yeah. to me as it is to you. There's Guess no difference. What? So you can't Guess morally what? keep that away from me. Like, Darth Vader's my dad. What? what? That's crazy. Guess what? Guess what? You think that's crazy? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, you're going to have to sit down, darling. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be mental. <laughs> like, so. You'll never believe this. Yeah. So, do you know why this, this screenshot... Is it's so terrible. Yeah, do you know why it's there, though? No. Because they lost... Um, before they filmed that shot, they realised that they wanted a shot with the... the Millennium Falcon in the background and those two talking about yeah. this this sequence and um, apparently I think it was at Pinewood or wherever they were storing all the models it burnt down oh, and they okay. actually burnt they lost the original uh, uh, Millennium Falcon the model's gone mm-hmm. forever and they needed that shot so they just plugged in a, a, a I guess a, a map painting in the background because they had no other way of doing yeah. it that's why was that's it? there uh-huh. it looks terrible oh yeah it's one of those things where like but again, it's it's the age, you know. I'm not going to yeah, take it away. Yeah, it's the age of the movie and stuff. It's fine. But I, I, no well, even as a kid, who it just like, looks that was, that was almost that was always like yeah. That was that was the technology we had back then. We kind of knew that. But I always found that bit so jarring because the Cause two shots are so flat. A, a live action, yeah. as well. But then yeah. the wide is is a, a map yeah. Map shot. Yeah. It just felt like massively out of place. So they're going on a secret mission. All the all the team are together again. They're going on the shuttle. They're going to try mm. and infiltrate the forest moon of the Endor. That's where we're at now in the story. Yeah. So we're back on track with the the war, basically yeah. the Star Wars. And um, what I love about Luke is that he's so stupid <laughs> that he doesn't think before he gets close to Endor that he's going to endanger the mission because yeah. Darth Vader can read his mind and sense his presence. Yeah. We know he can because he did he it did in it Empire. In Empire, yeah. And he's like. It's just when he's floating. I'm endangering like, the mission. No I, shit, Sherlock. Yeah, I shouldn't have come. Yeah, you shouldn't have. It's like, yeah. It's like, you, I don't know. Again, it's almost like it's the same thing where it was like them all going on that plan together in the first place. You're just piling all your best people onto one ship, one thing, all of them in one go. That ship gets taken out, or, or even if it's not by some, even if it breaks down, like it breaks down and then whatever, and they can't do it. It's like, does everybody else just sit around and wait? Yeah. Because what is everybody else doing? There must. Lando's a general now. Where's the? He's pl- just where's, turned where, off. Where's Plan B? Where's yeah. Plan C and D? Where are all yeah. these? Pl- this. It's a big moon. Yeah. Like there should be loads. Of, but this is the thing. This is the one thing I genuinely hate about this film. It's the last Star Wars movie. Mm-hmm. At this, at the time, it's the ending of this massive arc. It's awesome. This, especially the end sequence with this yeah. final plan, landing on Endor, exploring Endor, trying to find the base. Uh, the confrontation with the Ewoks and the Stormtroopers. All that would have been a thousand times better if they just stuck in an extra 150 people yeah. into every single shot. Yeah. Because it's so small. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like just a bit pathetic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Han Solo and about 10 dudes. Yeah. And then it's about 20 Stormtroopers yeah. like fighting on this little forest set. Because yeah. once Han gets to that doorway... We never leave that location. No. We are there for the rest of the movie. Yeah. And it should... You could have a big forest thing. It should have been this epic... Ba- it should have been Lord of the Rings before Lord of the yeah. Rings. Why couldn't it have been? It's Star Wars. Yeah. The money that they made out of... Em- I, like, I don't get why it wasn't... There wasn't more money put in. Yeah. It feels like it was held back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm, that's my rant. That's what bothers me about this film. There's loads of great stuff. Oh, yeah. Loads of great stuff. But there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. Oh. See, he's energy levels. Yeah. He's like, come on. Oh, come on, kid. Let's just keep a bit of optimism. optimism. 
When's it's like payday? his hands board. When's payday? Yeah, when, <laughs> yeah. when are we going for that pint? Yeah. So, like, yeah, we're just yeah. kind of waiting to get on the moon now. And then that's it. That's where we're going to be. Yeah, so we're still assuming we're just hanging around for a bit. And again, like I say, the, the final plot is just the same as A New yeah. Hope. It's just to shoot a thing into the middle of the Death Star and blow yeah. it up again. Um, I think as well. Uh, like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, we're saying about, like, like the same, but that's, that's their plan. Like, they're, like, their plan right now is they're, they're going to go and land. They're going to go and land, and their camouflage is so half assed it's you, unbelievable. You know it would have been better off flying the shuttle? Lando. It's <laughs> another... You can have that one for... Look, how half assed is this camouflage? Like, so, the only one... Like, there you go. All hands done is put on, like, a dirty jacket. You can't... Put on you a dirty cannot jacket. cover that hair up, Ben. <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. Not worried about the helmet. He's just put a dirty jacket on. He's still wearing exactly the same clothes as he always does. Same with like Luke. He's got his black outfit on and he's just chucked a poncho over it. He's got a helmet on, but that's basically but, it. He's like the the rest of the scouts and whatever but, like that are oh, in full camo. This is this is where I'm I'm going to get annoyed a lot now. There's going to be a lot of annoyance from me. So there's three, four characters, and this is it, and they're spying on. Is it three stormtroopers? Mm. Where's the epic? Where, where's yeah. the... There should be battalions and there should be walkers. There yeah. should be... Everything should be... I just... It, I mean, look, we're just... It's just two or three guys in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a forest. That's what we're watching. And it stays like this for, for a long time. So who cares? Although we do have the speed of bike chase. Yeah. And, and the scout troopers are awesome. That's like, I love their design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're great. The speed bike chase is, is yeah. brilliant. Oh, Ooh. boom. And again, you know, they go out like chumps, man. You can just throw a stormtrooper against yeah. a wall and he dies. Yeah. <laughs> he just shuts down. <laughs> That's it. Done. It's just like, come on, let's have a bit of... Like, um, hey, hey, come here. So this like, is the final battle. Go, yeah. Let's have a bit of meat on the bones. Yeah. You know, let's have let's have a little bit of peril. Yeah. You need peril, dude. I mean, this is awesome. Oh yeah. It's just it's great. What can you say? You can't even joke about it. It's fucking brilliant. Yeah, and for, but, the, I mean, and for you, the time this looks really good as well. Yeah, and it, 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 to a certain extent it holds up. Obviously it's the blue screen yeah. back in the day, but you know. Some of the sequences look insane. Yeah. I mean that looks great. Like, I saw how they filmed it, and all they did was just walk High through. High speed, yeah. yeah like, like, low shutter low speed. Low shutter speed. Yeah. Just walk through, and it, then speed it up. It's like, so they, that's something that has got to be said about this. They did get some things right when it came to, like, camera tricks. Oh, yeah, really I mean... Really simple camera tricks it's, it's, to be able to do that. It's well filmed. It's, mm. you know, it's well acted. It's well filmed, etc. It's just there's... They just held back for some mm. reason. It feels to me, anyway, and it's just like... Why? Yeah. Like, there weren't enough fans. It's like, yeah. does anybody around here want to be a stormtrooper? Yeah. There'd be like a thousand people. Yeah, they'd be like, oh yeah, we'll do this. Even back in the day, you know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's some brutal ways to go out, though. Like, with, like crashing into a tree at that speed and just bursting into flames. I like, would... You're just fine. Like, I, I, bits. There's a couple of cool things, but I think for the most part, they, they it's terrible. Again, Ewoks, they, sh- they should have murdered some Ewoks. I think they, they do. No, they murdered one. Okay. And that was quite... That's I'm talking sad. I'm talking. we should see um, a Stormtrooper blasting a, 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 an Ewok in the face, <laughs> point blank, and it just flies back and explodes. Do you know what I mean? Like, or, ca- you know, like, boom! And it just, it, it just explodes into a ball of flame. <laughs> and it squeals like... Nee! <laughs> Like oh, I can see it. Yeah, oh. exactly. Oh my god! But it should be murder. It's a war, and um, I don't know the don't way know. that one goes. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. Oh. And that's I think cool. this is because you don't see anything because it explodes. You see the green. I didn't see the sort of the green light. Yeah, the green. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, the way it goes. You can in, see some like, of the king. When you some, re- some of the yeah. Edges, yeah. 
when you really think about it, you're like when it hit that straight into that tree. Yeah. And it, and it just explodes. It's like, wow. <laughs> that, like, yeah. If you overthink it. But yeah, you just see it and thought, yay, that's one minute, one down. As a kid, you don't think about it. Because I'm not saying... Holy like, crap. I, I'm not saying go realistic and go like Rogue One. Because <laughs> there's reasons why I don't like Rogue I'm One. I'm still thinking about that Ewok getting blown away. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like we think about like doom. Boom! Wow. Yeah, this is a great death. Yeah, this is a cool death. Oh, he just explodes that guy. Yeah. But again, do that to the Ewoks. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't want to go Rogue One level because I don't like that either. But like, there's a middle line, and I think if you just put a bit more peril in, if you have, still not bothered. It's just sat down. He's just, (laughs) he's not bothered, and we're not bothered. No, but I think you're right. Boring. They could add that kind of thing into it. A lot of this is boring. Like this is boring. This this is boring. It's just fanning around in the woods. (laughs) See one, two guys. There should be 80 guys. Yeah. There should be 100 guys. Um, and you see a couple more of them die, like the rebels. There should be some rebel guys on the floor blasting with the stormtroopers yeah. and they get killed yeah. or get blasted. So it's a, a war yeah. sequence, you know. I mean, it just feels like... It's like, like two guys, look, three guys. Yeah. It's like... I mean, it just feels like stormtroopers are just like cannon fodder. Well, like, because they're all all look identical. There's some bits there where they just like throw some rocks on top of their heads. And they, oh, then they die. Yeah, it's like, it's like come on, guys. Yeah, they've come got helmets on. on. They've got like, helmets on. They're fine. Like... I like because uh, it reminds always reminds me of Spaced and when really Simon's Peg character goes, you know, the symbolism of like this small primitive people taking down a huge empire. I like that as well. Mm. That's cool, but you need to do a bit more with it. Yeah. You know, like I don't, I don't mind the Ewoks really. I mean, let's be honest. Everybody goes like they're cute, fluffy little teddy bears. To any certain extent, that's true. Yeah. But they're also murderous, horrible, oh, cannibalistic, yeah. like monster, like, monsters. Like straight they're away. monsters. Like we've got because they're not. They're, this is the thing. They just happen to look like teddy bears. We're the ones who say they like teddy bears in space. Yeah, but like they're not. And it's like they just happen to look like that, but. Like, it's got... Well, one, Wicket's got a stick and he's going around poking things. He's like, he's ready to kill this thing. Yeah. He's like, it's not just like, oh, I've gone, well, I'm looking for a pot of honey. It's like, I'm going to I'm gonna kill something. Oh, like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Oh, piglet. I just... And Wicket's only like a little one. Like, yeah, he's a baby. Yeah. So... But... When they go to the village, though, it's like a scene out of Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, yeah. There's skulls I know, tied I around say, everything. That's the thing for me. It's like, there's just skulls and stuff You can stuff imagine there's, like, in, in tribal fighting with different tribes of Ewoks where they're, like, like you know, skinning each other. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, it's um, like Predator. They'll be, like, hung, yeah, exactly. like, hung them up. Exactly like, like that. These guys oh, I, I are what, monsters. I am looking for fur rugs. I'm looking for fur rugs when they get to, like, the Ewok village. I want to see, uh, I bet we can find one. And it will be the skin of an of like an Ewok. I expect to see a xenomorph skull on the yeah. fucking wall yeah. somewhere, you know. Um, <coughs> but they are the little mo- <clears throat> they're, they're awful little creatures. If that yeah. thing came into my garden, yeah, I would stab it with a rake. This is it. It's not Paddington, is it? You know, he's not look. He's not coming in for a marmalade sandwich. He's going to eat your face. Yeah, he's going to cook you. They try to eat our main characters. They're going to yeah. cook them alive. Yeah. So, in a sense, you know, what people say about them being these cute little fluffy teddy bears, it's not really that no, true. No. It's like, you can, they, they definitely play on it at times. I'd love to see an Ewok really batter and break, like, like with a big, heavy, like, axe mm. tool. Yeah. Really smash it into a stormtrooper's chest yeah. and, like, cave it in and More stuff. More like a you know, Gimli like, kind of character. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, if Gimli was an Ewok. Yeah, if Gimli was an Ewok, he'd be awesome. That's Gimli what we've established. As an Ewok. Yeah. Wow, there we go. That's that's what I want. I want Gimli as an Ewok. We could just have John Reese Davies play one. Yeah. Two guys again. So, like, because I can't get a scope on what's happening on this moon. The Empire have invaded and taken over the moon and have a base on the moon. Yeah. So they've just got a base on the moon and that's where they, the shield for... It's yeah, no, I understand it. It's just that I, I just don't understand the scope of what the operation. Oh. So, like, it's, it's just two or three guys every hundred yards on these yeah. speeder bikes. Are they just patrols yeah. around the base? 
I don't know. And it's what they were expecting to kind of happen. There's like I said, there's not very many for saying like this is a big operation. Like, do they need it there, or do they just need a few people like around the perimeter, or do they need lots more people? Like, I don't think they really planned it out because you don't realize that understand the scope of what that thing's doing. Is this as really as important as it seems, or what? Do you think mm. that when uh, Wicket, or whatever its name is, yep. takes Leia back, because they dress her up. They do. What do you think they happened there? What do you think happened? Do you think, do you think the tribal leader said, well, if you want to stay in this village, you uh, have yeah. to um, bow yeah. the knee, if you know yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But... I, Layers, and I don't, and this do you think it's talk- like a dog? Do you think it's like a dog penis? No. Lipstick? No. <laughs> oh, imagine Wicket. Wicket's little lipstick. Yeah. Here comes the lipstick. Could be. Oh, there's an image. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> oh, God. Where are you going with that? Uh, I thought... I thought <clears throat> no. Oh. So. But Layers had, a, Layers had a, a crap time. No, I say she's had a crap time. Like, twice in this film, she gets captured and gets turned into, like, a sexy object. A se- well, sex, twice. yeah. Twice. You said Already. sexy object, did, and didn't. you should have said sex object. <laughs> because what you said wasn't the same thing. <laughs> a sexy object. <laughs> I love objectifying women, <laughs> says Ben. He will come to me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like, come on, doll. <clears throat> Get it together. Look at, look at Luke's hair. Yeah, it's amazing. It's proper 80s. All the hair's amazing. It's yeah. so 80s in this film. Even Harrison's hair is just like so much longer. I don't know what is happening with Harrison's hair. It was so beautiful in the yeah. first two movies. And, and I'm not just, saying it's not now. It's more it's like a, a full helmet head. now. Well, he's not, they've not cut their hair, have they? No. And I think it's the only time where it kind of... I think the hair dates it. <clears throat> like, I think it like... I know it's kind of like you look at Luke's hair in like A New Hope and stuff, but Empire's kind of feels almost timeless. Like it's it's all the aesthetics could could have been filmed yesterday, but I think there's only points now in like Jedi. Oh, this thing. Right, let's talk about this. So there's this weird like thing. There's like a leg. It's a trap, so, isn't it? Yeah. There's, somebody set a trap. Yeah, and put this weird dead thing on it, but it's got a face. It's got it has teeth. got a face. It's got teeth. It's an animal of some sort. <clears throat> but what did we, what did we find out that it was? Because it's it's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a um. Yeah, look. It's got, but it's on its. It's like a deer, but then they've put on the ass of the deer. They put a mouth. So they've glued. Yeah, they've basically <laughs> stuck a, a mouth on the anus <laughs> of a deer <laughs> carcass. What were they thinking? Yeah. What was going through their minds? <clears throat> but this is where we see like. This is where we get the first hints of how, like, deadly these Ewoks are. Because that net's huge. And how evil they are. Look, there's one stood in the background like Michael Myers. Yeah. It's just stood there staring. And here we start to see him. And like I said, said, look at the amount of bones. The bones on these guys. that that thing's got, which is the head head of something. They are like, they're all little mini predators. Yeah. And they're like, they were kind of looking at them like, yeah. They're not cute, they're creepy. Yeah. But they're kind of looking at them like, oh, what are these cute little things? And they're like, and like, Han's like, what is this? And they're all like laughing at him and stuff like that. Yeah. Until it's like, I ain't going to stab you. I'm like, yeah, go. And then they're like arguing, it's like, about it. It's like, no, no, we're going we're gonna to. No, we are going to kill you. We dude. are, yeah. And why does Luke say don't? Yeah. Like, what do you mean don't? Like, we're yeah. not just going to let him capture us for no yeah. reason. Again, what is Luke think? What, yeah. is, what is Luke's problem? Does he not want to live? Obviously not. And they all start to worship him. Yeah, they worship C-3PO. Yeah. This is where C-3PO brings... You know, at least in the whole of Star Wars, uh, finally, C-3PO has something to do. Yeah. Because he's been useless. Yeah. Like, at least R2's had his uses. Like, yeah. I say, he's one of the biggest heroes in the whole the whole franchise. Yeah. But uh, C-3PO's dead weight until yeah. this point yeah. where he pretends or he preys on the primitive minds yeah. of this tribe of teddy bears. I like that he has this, like, dilemma about doing it. Yeah, he has moral, object- yeah. ethical objections to... Yeah. 
Like he wants to tell him, and he doesn't want to like pretend to be something that he's not, and whatever. And again, six million forms of communication. Yeah, he he doesn't understand what these guys yeah. are saying. Can't pick it up from somewhere. But it, the you know the empire has control of this, so it's in the system. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the systems in Star Wars, the space, the star systems, but presumably it's one that the empire encompasses. Yeah. So it can't be that obscure. Can it? Yeah. I wouldn't have thought. Maybe I'm thinking about this too much. Maybe. But yeah, Luke's just like quite happy to let this kind of go because like he's he's sniggering, he's laughing that like C three PO's going. It wouldn't be proper to like pretend to like be he's... an actual deity, and like Han's like just do it, just do it, and then they're like no, okay, so Luke's... and then they like carry him in. They've just constructed, like they've they've just like con- like quite happily like made like something they can carry him in, and tied them all to like sticks and whatever like that yeah but do, what do they have a god chair just in case yeah. did they bring that with them yeah. into the just forest just because they never know and it's also like... they're swinging on vines to the next platforms yeah. how are they swinging uh, how are they swinging these hanging bodies from a yeah. stick over a, over a rope and how do they get R2-D2 and c 3 pair across yeah and this is when it kind of all makes serious like so they start to realise we're like screwed now like loose oh yeah this is something we figured out as well like they're stood, like they're lent up against a wall. So yeah, they're tied up. Yeah, they're actually stood up. <laughs> yeah, I always used to think they were like so, yeah. they were hanging over as well. But no, they're only they're cooking like that, hand at this point. They're only cooking him. Like oh, look, little cute thing. More skulls, more bones. And and what point did Luke, did Luke think? I think I've made a mistake. Here. I maybe should have let Han shoot these things. Yeah, because now we're going to get eaten alive. Yeah, just going to cook him. And at this point, it's like, <clears throat> what are we watching? Where are the other rebels? Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't they just landing a spaceship down and sorting this business yeah. out? And here she is. She's, she's been Ewoked, yeah. Leia, at this point. And we all know what I mean. Oh, yeah. But it's the same scenario with Jabba. She's, she's been captured, taken, yeah. ca- and she's been redressed. Yeah. How many times does Leia get dressed by outsiders? Yeah. And that and that fits her perfectly. What's then they're happening? Like, they're, they're like they're like cooking. They're about to cook some people, but they've taken her, and it's like, oh yeah, we'll get you dressed. We'll we'll make something for you to wear. But I think that they're arguing with. Are they good seams, seamstress like, people? We'll see. But like it's like the, the little girl and that Luca Luca Lu. They're having a lovely time, like having a day, oh, singing again the while day. they're about to cook these people. They've caught a human woman, yeah, as a sex slave, presumably. I assume. And then they've caught three or four more people to eat. Yeah. This is the best day of an Ewok's yeah. life. It doesn't get better than this. And they found God. Yeah. All within one day. It and doesn't get better. Gonna, and this is the thing. They they knew they like tied him to there. They knew exactly what they were going to do with the, these people, which means that this isn't the first people they've eaten. Oh, God, no, no way. But also, presumably, the, you know, the Empire is on this planet. Yeah. Presumably, they've caught the odd roaming trooper yeah. and eaten him. They must yeah. have done it at least once or twice. Here's another thing. Mm. How stupid are these Ewoks? They're lighting fires on wooden platforms that they live on. Yeah. Everything they have is made out of wood. Yeah. It doesn't seem like the smartest idea, does it? Well, mate, and this is the thing. Maybe this is the first time. Maybe they've never caught anything and they're just cooking it and this is the first time they've ever done it. And they're like, so they'll, they'll be like trial by fire. They're going to like burn him and like, well, well, we won't do that again. Pun intended. Oh, I think that went pretty well. Yeah, I think you did. It was good. No, they just dump R2 out. <laughs> <laughs> you had to wait later phase. R2's oh, okay. got the right idea. Oh, yeah. Straight away, he's like, right, Attack. I'm zapping Attack. them all. Yeah. These horrible, terrible things. Still not spotted any Ewok like rugs and stuff. I'm yet. trying to just I'm just looking out for any hints of darker things. Yeah. But again, what are we doing right now? Mm. What is happening in this story? Like, yeah. uh, we've just taken a break from the story. Yeah. Basically, we're just fanning around with with Ewoks. Yeah. There's so many fires. Yeah. There needs to not be. Yeah. The thatched roofs. Yeah. For Christ's sake. The risks they're putting themselves through. Yeah, and it's this weird kind of dichotomy. They're like, they're, they look cute, 
and they're doing like little cute jumps. So many bones. Stuff like that. Yeah, but they were going to eat them five minutes ago. We've got some serious exposition here. You think of the cultural differences between these peoples. Do you, do you think they understand anything of what's happening with Steve yeah. here right now? Because a minute ago they worshipped worshipped him as a god, and now it's making like it's story time it's, with Ewoks. Yeah, and he couldn't communicate with them before, but now he is, and also he's playing all these sounds and whatever. It's crazy. Like, how do they know what a carbon freeze is? Yeah. What concept? They're like, is in their oh, head? okay, yeah, yeah. T glow carbon, yeah, I'm on board with that. But again, you know, this is C3PO's time to shine. He's a mm. useless sack of crap, and now he's got a use. Yeah. We're going to indulge. Yeah. And the filmmakers obviously are indulging because this has taken a long time. Yeah. But this is, like I so said, these are the bits where it kind of slows down. I don't, like, I don't know if we needed an exposition dump. And I guess that it's the idea is that they're getting him on board. But it's a lot. It's a lot of, like, where the story kind of just stalls for a minute. Yeah, yeah. And we, we haven't had a lot of story because, like I say, we've had a lot of time with rescuing Han. Yeah. We've had a little bit, but yeah. not much. And again, like, we'll get to that sequence soon with with Luke and, and Leia, and it's just, like, it's so quick. Yeah. It's like, this is a big deal. Yeah. And she takes it like a f***ing champ. Yeah, yeah. All, that, all this stuff that gets laid on her. Yeah. I like this. Remember to, like, come and talk to him. No, we had a chat ages ago. Like, we'll go and find out what's actually going on. Well, Luke was the original emo. You know, he dresses in black, <clears> you know, very sultry, and then goes and sneaks away from a party just to stand and yeah. and sort of contemplate in, yeah, the, in, the, in yeah. the darkness. You yeah. Know? Like, that kind of thing. It isn't even the way he stood. It's like, I wanted someone to follow me. Like, yeah. Because I'm sad. So, that is the kind of thing he needs where... needs to speak his truth. Like, I remember doing that at parties where you'd go and stand away and you'd be like... Yeah, when you were like yeah. 15. And you'd be like, hmm, or thinking... And I wonder whatever. if that girl so I like is going to come out yeah. and talk to me. But that's all you wanted to do, was just thinking like, sometimes it worked and they come out, and another time think, I've just stood out here on my own, and look, yeah. now I look really stupid. I could have gone in the party and had yeah. a dance, but no. And now Luke, like I say, just gives this over. Like, the way he talks about, like, do you remember your mother... And yeah, again, I don't remember my mother. prequels just destroy everything. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, there's no way they remembered any of this. Nope. As the tiny babies. Yeah. And this is the thing. It's, like, this was a retrofit anyway. Even within its own trilogy. Clearly. Because there is no way that they would have been doing the stuff they were doing in the first film and the second film if this was ultimately where it was going to go. It would have been embarrassing <clears> if she still went in for a kiss after this. Yeah. That would have been a bit blue. That would have been yeah. a bit off colour. If you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, so then they, it gets ruined even more. It's like, how can we fit this in? Like, oh, we'll just have them have, be born and then their mum's going to die, like, immediately and they're going to get taken away. It's like, but how is then... But then, are we saying that Leia's, like, remembering something else? Because there's no way she's remembering her mum. No way. But, so they've kind of ruined that. The way he tells her now. Yeah, why does he tell her like this? Yeah. It's such a weird way of saying, just say what you mean. Yeah. It's like he inherited the bullshit talk from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Just say what you mean, my man. Maybe it's a Jedi thing. Maybe like you get to that talking point riddles. and you just talking riddles the whole time. The way she just like accepts this. Imagine if everybody yeah. said taught this way though in like real life. And it's like, hey, dude, you know, like yeah. you know, like how I don't have cancer. Well, <laughs> you yeah. guess what? It's like I know. I guess I've I've, oh, I've always, always known. known. It's like well, that's that's not true. That is like I hope. Yeah, that's scary, darling. That's, that's scary. scary. Like because the things you were doing. I, I don't judge, but <clears throat> I mean, I think we need to rethink that sentence. Like. If you had any inkling at all that he was your brother, you wouldn't have been doing the stuff you were doing. Which well, she did. Yep. So... She did the dirty. Yeah. 
Because he clearly didn't know, so he's got an excuse. Like, you'd, do, you'd still... I'm, I'm surprised there wasn't the... Like, oh, they the, do kiss. I think it's only on the cheek. Yeah, but still, after... Yeah. After just finding I'm that... I'm sorry, but you just find out that you're related in brother and sister. Yeah. You know that you've had some weird intimate kisses yeah. on multiple occasions. Yeah. Maybe don't kiss each other at all for a little while. Yeah. Because you need to let that stuff sink in. Yeah. Even on the cheek. But I, I'm surprised I'm calling that, bullshit on that, that either Luke or Leia yeah. didn't have like a... It would be like well an ace, in Like an Ace Ventura kind of thing. Yes. Like, your gun is lots digging into my hip. Yeah, lots you of know? gum in the mouth. Yeah. Finkel is Einhorn. And again, she inherits the same... Is she's of, like straight away? Because she won't tell him. Yeah. Tell Han. What's, why? Why yeah. not tell him? Why? And because like, Han has this, 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 like, he finds out right at the end. But like, uh, that's the kind of reaction I'd have. But like, just tell me what it is, woman. Yeah, I'm with Han on this one. Yeah. And then he's like, then she's just doing this bit and he's like, oh, fuck, fine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Because he doesn't know why he's sorry. I'd like to take this time to apologise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't tell you. Because why? Why? Yeah, why can I not tell you? And especially if you've always known. And then she does that weird bit. It will come to it at the end. But that, that bit's weird as well. But just, just, just tell him. Like, it's so, not like a massive big reveal. We're kind, of, we're kind of gunning towards the end of the kind of whole thing now. So, like... Luke's handing himself over to, to yeah. Darth and Darth's going to take him to the Emperor. Um, this sequence in this corridor, again, it's weird. Mm-hmm. And it's good and bad because yeah. it, 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 it sets up the relationship between the family things all coming together now with the brother and sister and the father and Darth's the father. He's, there's more to the character now. Mm-hmm. And this is more of an intimate moment between father and son. Yeah. But it, which is great. But it does take away from, like, Darth being this kind of, like, scary, intimidating yeah. character and blah, 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 you know. Because it comes a bit more intimate. Yeah. And it's weird to see Darth suddenly behaving, like, conflicted and emotional. Yeah. Like, saying, oh, son, you could never, I could never understand who. Yeah. It's like, you don't, I don't know, it's just weird Darth saying that. Mm. Like, coming out of that mask. <laughs> There's a real cool bit in the sequence, though, where there's a bit where Darth does kind of suggest his more evil intentions. Mm. And he's a bit kind of intimidating because Luke doesn't think he'll kill him. Yeah. And he then lights up the lightsaber. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at Mark's face, Mark Hamill's face, his eyes just move very suddenly. And it's like you just shat yourself because you you weren't sure then. Yeah. It's a really good, it's a really cool little bit. And it's, again, it's this massive overconfidence that he's got. Because he just turns away from him and says, yeah. you're not going to kill me. <clears throat> Imagine if you just stuck him right in the back. Yeah. No. This bit. Yeah. No, look, he's like, uh, Oh, fuck. actually, like, you Oops. might do. I may have misjudged this yeah. situation. So if you can build a lightsaber, you're, skill, you're a Jedi. Your skills are sorted. Yeah. You just had to construct a Jedi. Yeah. So it's like, is it just like, it's like a DT lesson. Yeah. If you build a there lightsaber, you go. you're cool. Jedi you, now. You've passed. It's too late for me. Back to obeying. Back to being a bitch. Looks like everything's done for Luke. Yeah. Oh, dear. Ooh, oh, burn. burn. Oh. Sick. Guess my father is dead then. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you are just a big sack of shit in a black <laughs> costume. <laughs> and he's like, oh. Yeah. He's starting. Where's you know, your leash? Is yeah. it with the emperor? <laughs> it's like, it's... Those words have just like, like cut through him. Yeah, it's, it's, there's nothing worse cut. than like, 
It's, it's the kind of thing, like, if your kid ever said to you, like, well, guess you are dead then. Yeah. Yeah. Guess that is in then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mum was right about yeah. you. <laughs> you're like, it's the first time it's like, oh, my God. I'm, my my I'm kids s- don't love me. Oh God, I'm such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? What have I done with my life? I can't even feel my penis. <laughs> I'm not even sure I have a penis. <laughs> ah! And again, right. we're back to just two or three characters talking. Yeah. And it's like, okay, can we get to the? Can we get to war? Yeah. There are some cool space. The space battle's great. Yeah. Like you know, it's fan- that's what you want. You know, that's the end of this. It's the culmination. It's this, the war. The war to end all wars. Yeah. The Star Wars. The Star Wars. Ships look awesome. They do. You know, you can't you can't beat it. Yeah. And who are these guys behind him? Yeah. Who are the, What are these guys doing? They've got helmets on. They look like they're ready to go to war. Like they're, they're ready to get dropped off. And but they're, they're not. That's not the plan. They're all overweight as well. They are. But they're they're all, all like greasy, weird guys. Like even like the pilots and stuff. Like even in the Return of the Ho- uh, uh, Return A New Hope. Hope, Return of the Hope. Even in A New Hope, all the pilots are like these fat, greasy guys. It's yeah. weird. The guy that finds them in Empire Strikes Back yeah. in the snow. Yeah. He was a big fat, greasy guy. Yeah. And I'm not being funny. I'm just. It's just an observation. So again, they're all like hanging all their hopes on these guys sorting something out. Like a, like a handful of people. At this point, like I said, we're down to, like, three. And they're like, how are we going to do this then? What kind of plan are we going to... And again, this is just... I think there's so many happenstances in this film where just, like, they don't ever come up with a plan. Things just kind of happen around them. It's like, oh, we've kind of got away with this one or we've got this. It's like all, all the all the rebels, uh, the the team are hanging back. So they are mm. in the background. You see them occasionally. But nobody thinks to go up to hand, tap them on the shoulder and go... Commander Solo, is it? Do you think it's right to just be following these like tiny little teddy bears around? Yeah. Like, shouldn't we be proactively doing things yeah. on our own? So we're we're at the shield door. We're at the generator doorway now, and we're going to be here for the rest of the time. movie. Well, right to the end of the film. <clears throat> yeah. What were they doing? Just hanging about, <clears throat> having a having cigarette. A chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four guys. Yeah. They shouldn't have been able to get near this doorway. No. They should. It should have been a compound. It should yeah. have been guarded with like tanks and yeah. or whatever you know you could invent a new di- a, a vehicle or whatever yeah. like there's just four men stood at a doorway really yeah. this thing protects the whole of that death yeah. star up, 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 in, up in space How easy it's to drive speed a bike yeah. this this this, <laughs> like a tiny this thing prehistoric yeah. bear can yeah. do it. <laughs> this is pathetic. Yeah. This is pathetic. Tap tap. Tap tap tap. Hey! tap really? Yeah. You're gonna tap him on the shoulder. Yeah. That's it. And look, ten guys. Yeah. That's it. He really? just runs around there and just before he's even done anything, he's already put the gun down, he's like, whatever. It was this easy to take the base. Yeah. And there aren't lots of people like there and whatever surely that base must be full full of people yeah but where are not... they all because to me like you have this like intimate thing between the power dynamics with the father with Darth with Luke with the Emperor will he won't he mm-hmm. and it's very small and intimate and that's right that's what should be happening but everywhere mm-hmm. else should be battlefield Crazy, yeah. fighting for survival. Yeah. Are they going to die? Yeah. Like, you never really think that Han and Leia and Chewie are going to die. No. They're never in peril, really. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a great chair, though. He does. It's a fantastic chair. He just hangs out. It's like so confident, it's like, yeah, just, like, we just don't need anybody else. 
Why do the guards have to leave? <clears throat> just have yeah, them there just not, in case. It's not like they're going to, like, something's going to happen that the guards are going to go, whoa, this is weird. Like, oh, oh. maybe we're, we're like, we can't see something. Like, maybe they'll kick them out because they, you don't want to be witness to this kind of stuff. Or, like I say, like I say if it's when, not a big when, deal, really. If Either stuff way. goes down, I say, just have them stood there. Yeah. I do like the Emperor. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Like, if I join the dark side, am I going to end up either in a black suit and all smashed up, or am I going to end up like an old, like, ball bag? Yeah. Because essentially it's Which like, you're not really it? selling this to me. I'm not sold on this at all, no. because I look all right. I do think the PR for the dark side is terrible. It's, it's terrible. The it's optics the... aren't great. Yeah. Because they're not really giving him much of a reason to want to join the dark side, which is kind of the point. Like, they want him to, like, yeah, do these things, and then you can join the dark side and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know, it's not really appealing to me. Whereas if they, like, sold him something. Like, we find out, like, in the prequels and stuff, where it's supposedly, like, he was going to teach Darth Vader how to, like, save people. Like, bring people back from the dead kind of thing. Stop people from dying. Yeah. It's like... Oh, that was a that was a hook that got him in, and that's what he went for. Yeah, eventually, like he's like screwed over, like in those films and whatever by it. But they are not giving Luke anything, any reason whatsoever to want to join it. Yeah, he's almost like trying to trick him to become evil yeah. by enacting out anger. Yeah. If I like really, really piss you off, like a lot, then you'll do something, and then you'll you join will, the dark yeah. side. And but, I don't know if that's quite how it works, because we've seen Luke angry. Like, he got well, shot, in, when he got he shot and ingrained, and he gets like, you see that look, he's like, ah! And then he just, like, swings out and just mows down people with his lightsaber. He's angry at that point. He's not in control. He's really angry that he's got hurt. Yeah, but we know it's not true, because he gets angry later. He pounds, yeah. pounds his Ooh. dad. <laughs> Which is something I didn't think I'd say. Um, uh, into submission, and he's angry. Yeah. But he doesn't, but he brings it back. So you can be angry and not turn to the dark side. And, and at least the Emperor has some formative plan. Like, he's like, yeah, I let him know. Yeah, I told them about that. Yeah, yeah. Do you think... You, no, no, yeah, and it is going to be, like, fully operational. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah, we're going to obliterate your, yeah. you know... I say it's that tricking him into it it's like yeah you, this is going to happen like, I'm just going and, and I'm making you angry all the time the more I do this yeah so the rebels have been caught <clears> now they're outside yeah. there's about ten of them there's a few I mean there's there's a few here but yeah. I don't know like but again there's like there's three rebels and then there's that one guy who was in the, who put on the outfit and that's it we're getting like there's there's a fair amount right now. Got a couple of walkers. It's just that the, the stormtroopers are also so useless. We're supposed to be worried, yeah. scared. Like, yeah, I a... could take on ten of these guys yeah. with no weapons. Yeah. If I had a stone, like something like David and Goliath. Yeah. It's a robot. You don't really need to tell it to freeze, just grab it. But here we go. And this is where it where we kind of like see It's just fast it's it's just too farcical for me. It's yeah. just like silly. Because there's not enough like actual like the humans should get more I don't know, you don't see many I don't know, you just don't see many human interactions and stuff. No. Like you just saw one of the arrows ping off one of the guy's um yeah. helmets. And she was just chucking him around. She's just stepped on one, 
Just, so it's just yeah. shot one guy, but everybody else is kind of getting like pushed about. Now, now the stormtroopers is like running around, like they've got no clue. Just yeah, like, they're just running after teddy bears. Yeah. It's just silly. People falling over each other. Like you don't have to go really like gory <clears throat> violence, but you yeah. do have to see people like die and yeah. get hit and and stuff, you know, and get taken out. Yeah. It's like where are all the rebels? There's yeah. two guys, yeah. just two rebels firing it a little bit. But like, this is no, where's all, the battle? This yeah. isn't a battle, you know. And they've just all they're doing is chasing them through. They're going to kick a couple off there and they're dead. They just roll down a hill, yeah. a couple of stormtroopers, and yeah. they're dead. They're not dead. Yeah. You know, it's just not enough. Yeah. Some of it's good. There's, there's some good bits. Yeah. But I do love that stormtrooper just chucking that Ewok. That guy's <laughs> pathetic. Like, ah. He dropped a bloody boulder on him. It wasn't even a big boulder. Yeah. It was a tiny little boulder and he killed the guy. Yeah. Or knocked him out. But potentially dead. And it's this weird bit where they go from being like... There's a lot of we, comedy elements. Yeah. Like we were talking about saying like, these are actually like pretty terrifying things. They bring down the Empire. But in such, when you watch it, it's in such a comedic, silly way that it's like the Empire deserved to die, you know, deserved to end. If that's what you've got, if that's the best you've got going off, is that a, like you can throw a rock at someone and then that's it. The Emperor is like needs to sort his sort everything out. Han and Leia in a doorway, the movie. <clears throat> <laughs> that's what we're watching. Yeah. Nobody's died. There's been no real action. Yeah. No action sequences. Not really. They're just chasing them into the woods as well. It's like, I don't need you. Like, this is again like a really bad plan for the Empire. They're like, okay, oh, we can add a load of teddy bears jumping us. So we're just going to chase them into the woods, into where they're from. Like, they're like, um, like, Domain where they can have set up all kinds of traps or done all that kind of stuff. We'll just leave everything else unguarded. There was a great bit there where like three walks had a catapult. The catapult yeah. hit the chicken walker. Yeah. It didn't do anything. The chicken walker turned and fired on it. Yeah. It hit the catapult and the catapult exploded and the, the gummy bears just flopped back <laughs> backwards. It should have exploded that whole area yeah. and they should have died. Yeah. It's just the small things. But the, fight, but the fight sequence in space is great because oh, yeah. that's what you want. You want the yeah. action and stuff. So there are three sections going off now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this, this bit is great. Right, as they're figuring it out, it's like, what are they waiting for? Like, why are they just hanging out? And it's like, we're, we're, they're still carrying on. But it's a brilliant fight sequence in space. Again, it's like it's the, the only ones who've got a planet is, is the Empire. The, the, the Emperor is on it. got one. Like f- from a space-wise kind of thing, they've got it. They're all entirely let down by the people who are on the planet. The war, the political the war, and, and stuff. That stuff's solid. Yeah. Space helmets. Yeah. Still doing it, still doing it. Yeah, still not, and they've still not put a uh, a guardrail up yet. What I love about the rebels is one of their ships got blown up. I know it's like a serious big weapon. Yeah, and they're they're just like we're getting, we're going. Yeah, it's like okay, no. Like, yeah, and it's like, again, like, don't worry about it. Like, you'll get the shield down, it'll be fine. It's like, well, we're going to hang out around here. Like, we're pinned in. And they're going to, like, murder us all on the off chance that that one bloke who got carbon frozen is, like, worth his salt. Better, yeah. Help he was worth it. Still at the door. Yeah. We've been here a long time. We've been here a long time. We're going to be here for a bit longer. Yeah. It's like... Mm. Oh. Of 
FA Cup. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Artie. <laughs> That's not the worst Poor time. Poor Artie. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna hot wire. Just gonna rip the wires out and see what happens. It's great. See, where's more gunfire and stuff? Come on. This is, this is the bit where they can't just like take over, like this bit. Yes, but we should have had a little bit more of <clears> this. <throat> this makes it real. Like, yeah, and I think that's the thing because it know. was it was all comedic and funny up until this point, and then it's like, it suddenly like the the tone changes. Yeah. As the empire gets starts to get the upper hand, it's like. Yeah, these things are dying. Like, we may have been a bit, bit of a joke about it before, but, like, there is going to be a lot of death. They've got, and there would be. <clears> there'd be dead, burning, like... They burned Jawas in A New Hope, a big yeah. pile of them. Yeah. So you need that. You yeah. need that a little bit more. So everything's going wrong. Yeah. I don't know if we need to make a comment that we've just seen a black pilot and an Asian pilot die. Yeah. He's getting angry now. My young apprentice. What is Darth thinking, though? Like, what's going to happen to me? Yeah. Daddy? It's just like... <laughs> Like, Where am I gonna go? Yeah, like, but that's Never it. Never mind. That is it. What is what was the plan? Like, don't if, worry about yeah. it. I've told you before. <laughs> don't question me in front of the boy. And he's pointing a lot of folks when he's talking like this. Dark like side. Yeah. So he's like, he's like, strike me down now. So he's like, strike you down. It's like then you're putting a lot of faith in. Like once he's struck him down. He's Hold on, if I'm right. striking you down and he's striking me down, then who's going to strike me down? Yeah. But then he wasn't going to let him strike him down anyway because he's got Darth Vader there to sort it out. So he's like, what's, what's the plan? I still don't understand like how that whole turn to the dark side would work. Like, if he killed him, so suddenly he's like, oh, crap, I'm in the, I'm in the dark side now. Oh, I thought you were saying, oh, crap, because you just remembered what... Chewie was about to do with the oh, yeah. Tarzan oh, meal. Oh, it's Tarzan. Because I was about to say, yeah, I agree with you, because that's yeah. terrible. I do like that. The <laughs> legs <laughs> just like pulling him up, chucking him out. That's great. You should have thrown the other guy off as yeah. well. It was like... But yeah, what did they do to him? It's like they've been in the seat, so they're just beating him to death. It's just teddy bears running yeah. away and things shooting them. That's it. And they're such bad shots. Yeah. They're terrible at their job. Right. Yay. I hope somebody told somebody that Chewie was in that chicken walker because they could just launch another series yeah, yeah, of yeah. battering rams to yeah. smash them to pieces. Had to put like a rebel flag out of it or something like that. And they're amazing shots. They've only just climbed in and they're like killing like stormtroopers left and right. Literally, I've just seen a stormtrooper fall over and scream when yeah. nothing happened to him. Yeah. That, this is This brutal. is cool. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of good bits. That's great. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't decapitate them. They should have decapitated them. Yeah. These, these this are pathetic. Was like, yeah. pathetic. Really? Really? Okay. Like this. This is Chewie. Chewie's in that. Dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one! Oh, oh shit. How would they know? They wouldn't yeah. know. They just crushed Chewie in the... Still at the door. <laughs> Funny. Oh, bless her. At least he didn't get blasted in the face. Yeah. Here we 
Okay. It's, and it's a lame idea. Mm-hmm. It's a really, really lame idea. It's it's as bad as him tapping that shoulder yeah. of the stormtrooper and running in the other direction. Do you see what I mean? It's yeah. like what we, you know. I do like this whole thing with him being like kind of battered into submission he's like, oh, solid. Loops like all over the it's place. great he's like he's got no idea what he's supposed to do because he's being puppeteered by obi-wan by yoda by the emperor by darth vader this guy has got no clue what's his what he's doing he has to choose and, his own path <clears throat> and i just think it's so well done that he's like do i fight do i not fight do it like but if i don't fight He's like, he's like swinging for me now. Like yeah. he's actually going to kill me. So I've got to defend myself and I've got a bit and then... But if I kill him, then I'm going to the dark side or am I a Jedi? It's like, it must be a complete mind fuck for him. Yeah. It'd make a great episode of like Jeremy Kyle though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Darth Vader does have a habit of holding his lightsaber down in between his legs like a penis. <laughs> he does have that habit. He does that a lot. And he's kind of tipped it down. Yeah, he, he yeah, does yeah. that a lot. I do love how he just lobs his yeah. lightsaber at him, though. That's cool. And I just don't know what the Emperor's happy about. Like, I, 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 I don't know what his outcome plan is what I think he he's just a, he's just an arsehole isn't he because he just yeah. likes seeing family members squabble yeah. and fight each other he's he's made that he's happen he's generally not bothered which way round it comes out really he wants Luke but if Luke gets killed by Darth Vader it's like well maybe he's like stepping up his game a bit maybe Darth is like worth having around again well I've always said it this, uh, Star Wars ultimately is just it's the greatest love triangle between three gay guys yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, there's the plan. This is pathetic. So yeah. he pretends to be the driver in the chicken walker, covers his mouth like that so you can't quite see it's Harrison Ford, and says, why don't you bring everybody outside yeah. of the base? Yeah. Why doesn't one of the guys go, what, you want us to bring everybody outside? Yeah. Maybe, maybe... And, that, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, really? Really? The Empire deserved to fall. Yeah. If that's what They're it They're terrible. About. And when you compare the Empire and how on the ball they were and how scary they were in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. It's just a bit jarring. Yeah. And it's the thing, it's like they were... Like, from the... Gr- what's happened on the ground is a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Like, like, they've got no clue. But, like, everything that's happened in space and whatever, like, the plan to yeah. get them there, to have got them to try and wipe them out and everything like that, it's pretty solid. It's just all let down sure. by... It's, I w- it's not even like... Say, when we were talking about, like, they're brought down by the Ewoks. It wasn't. It wasn't. It's like yeah, the Ewoks were there and helped, but, but ultimately, it was an absolute shit show. Like they didn't know what they were doing. They were getting tricked left, right, and centre on what was going off, and they were the weak link in the whole thing. So, Ewoks there or not, I'm pretty sure Gary would have left the door open when he popped out for a fight. Yeah, they just snuck in. Yeah, yeah, and tapped him on the shoulder and run the other yeah. direction. You know, and the conflict here between father and son and the emperor and the... the it's great. Mm. It's cool. Fine. Good. And they're like figuring this stuff out. It's like, yeah, yeah. You get your thoughts between you two. But so this, this is, is I, anger now. Yeah, and I love this. The music's fantastic. It is. Like, it's, it gives me goosebumps. Like the... Just the sound design. The, it's so the sad music. and tragic. and Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this bit it's great it's just, and Luke's like because he's not f- just fighting for himself anymore he's fighting for Leia he's fighting because of the frustration of like not being able to get his yeah. dad back yeah 
He just loses himself in it when he's wailing on him. It's just that look that he's got. He liked it and it scares him. Great enunciator. I love the subtlety of how he looks at his hand. Realises. There's no, no words, no, no point of it. Then just that shot of that, it's like, I'm already... I'm, I'm already going down that yeah. path. It's great. Don't throw away your lightsaber, though. That's going yeah. a bit too far. Yeah. Because I don't know what he thought was going to happen next. Yeah, what was... Yeah. This is no, great. Like, this like, is great. Love that line. Yeah. Jedi. Great. Right. That's cool. Also, this explosion is fucking crazy. Oh, he's no, killed I... everyone. Yeah, yeah. Watch. It's like nuclear. Look at that. that. It's yeah. nuclear. Look. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's, Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. He's not like standing up and smiling about that. He's got no eyebrows. His skin's melted there off. There should at least be rubble <laughs> pinging past him on fire. It's just... It's crazy. It's crazy. It's lazy. It's weird. Like, yeah. it's stupid. It's like, like, like that, that explosion is amazing. Oh, that it's is, incredible. Like, it's, it's so impressive. But for that to supposedly been like, he ran like 10 metres and lay down. Yeah. <laughs> So <clears throat> now he's kind of realised the Emperor's like, oh, again, everybody's plans just keep getting debunked, don't they? Like, it just all keeps going up in smoke. So he's gone, I, I bet on the wrong horse here. I'm yeah. going to put him down and just stick with the guy with the one hand, I guess. Yeah. Like, it's gone tits up. Yeah. Like, everybody's plan's gone tits up. Yeah. It just shows the ultimate power of the Emperor. Like, because he's been, like, not really done a huge amount like he's just been quite manipulative in the way he talks stuff where it's like you've underestimated me mate because if you think that I can't like I'm just going to go oh okay but I love this the lightning flashes in Darth's face when yeah. he's looking back and forth it's great and there's no words you don't need words and no. he, they, they decided to put words in the, the specialised yeah. editions for no reason whatsoever yeah. but I was I never was like looking at this thinking I wonder what Darth Vader's thinking I know exactly what he's thinking yeah the conflict yeah. is there. They've talked about the conflict the entire way through, and now you, it's culminated right now. He's murdering and he his looks son. Looks like sad. You know, it's like it's amazing you can get that emotion through a mask. And he looks like I don't know what to do. I'm watching this happen. Watching him murder my son, yeah. and then he decides to fuck this and yeah. do something about it. Yeah. You would think, though, that the Emperor at that point would maybe turn off his Force Lightning. Yeah. He's just standing there like that. So he's dead. He's dead. He's definitely dead. He's 100% dead. Yeah. I've known dead. dead people less dead. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. You're not coming back from that. He's dead. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, ultimately, it makes no sense. If he's that powerful, can't he just fly up? Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Like, but you know. he's dead. But he is dead. Yeah. And they just hold each other. It's like, oh, yeah. it's nice. It's holding his hand. Holding his hand. It chokes me up, man. Yeah. I love that shit. And now we're going into this. Right, Now we're going into battle. battle. Space battle! Have, have some fun. We're having fun uh, yeah. now. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. Take your time. So and this is the thing, this is the exciting part. This is the good stuff. Yeah. This is where it's like, how are they going to do it? It's like so claustrophobic. You're like, look how tight it is. And then they're like... Look at those lights. Sweet. Yeah, the way that it turns. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Love it. I don't even know how you filmed this sequence back in no. the day. No. 
that's one thing the Star Wars always did. So right, the vision. That effect. guy. Yeah, yeah. Told you, there's always an obese man <laughs> flying a plane. How did he even fit him in there? <laughs> the R2 units do most of the flying, I yeah. bet. No way, Porky McPorkerson. <laughs> Isn't one of the characters called Porkin? Porkins? Yeah. Porkins. Yeah. Really, Star Wars? Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's like really on the nose. On the on the hoof on the trotter. Yeah, right. Fun. And I'm sorry, how are these Mon Calamari pressing buttons and levers with those big flappy flappers? <laughs> Did you see that guy in the background? They're like paddles for hands. Nope, we didn't see this coming. Yeah. Except it happened before. Yeah. Unlucky, mate. That is pretty unlucky. Wicked. That ship's cool. It is cool. It looks cool. It's not how space works. Though. You can't shoot something and then it suddenly like point down and go and crash into something. That's not quite how it works. No. But it looks Or the awesome. flames or fire yeah. or, or any yeah. bit, really. <clears throat> I love how nobody yeah. cares shit. Everybody's running past them. Like, nobody cares. Like... There's a guy dragging Darth Vader like yeah. onto a ship. Maybe you stop that guy? Yeah. No one's thinking like, oh, he's killed him. Like, kill that guy. Yeah, kill the guy. And just like, nah, just leave him to it. Yeah, it's fine. It's a war, you know. The war's on. Maybe a med, a uh, ambulance of some sort. (laughs) We live in this technological wonderland. Maybe (laughs) you could help me out. (laughs) Get me on the ship! (laughs) It hurts! (laughs) You cut my hand off! (laughs) You fucking asshole! (laughs) Oh my god, look at that. And there he is. Look at that. It's Humpty Dumpty in his fucking spacesuit. Look at his eyebrows, they're great. They're amazing eyebrows. They digitally removed them, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did, yeah. How dare you? I love how he's got a different accent when he takes his helmet off. It's his real voice. Yeah. Aww. incredibly beautiful poignant moment in the film mm-hmm. ruined again by the prequels because yeah. you know you can forgive a guy turning his back on his family and going to the dark side and kind of being a bit of a muscle man mm-hmm. but when you think this guy murdered hundreds of people including children yeah. him being saved last minute at the end is kind of not really that much yeah. makes much odds really does yeah. it in, in so many ways the prequels fuck these films yeah He's crying. Yeah. Oh, and we're back. And we're back. I'm watching the... <laughs> always watching the Millennium Falcon fly down corridors being chased by two uh, TIE fighters. Yeah. It, you, it never gets old. No. Nope. It's so easy to blow these space stations yeah. up. Oh, one of my favourite shots is coming up. It's this bit where it transitions into the corridor. Yeah. That is so clever. That is clever. So clever. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Again, now they're not shooting Luke down as well. <laughs> I've seen him come out and it's like coming out in a bad guy ship. Yeah. I'm going to take him out. Well, the black Woo! man and the weirdly Hispanic alien creature escaped. <laughs> Arriba! Aye, aye. It's terrible. Again, they're all dead. Everything's going to be okay now. 
If they didn't die from that explosion, they're going to die from all the bits that rained down on them. I mean, why are the Ewoks cheering? Yeah. Conceptually, what do they think's just happened? Yeah. For them, like, a, a, pl- a star exploded or yeah. something. They might be thinking it's the apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, and here we've got the final bit of the continuation of, the, of our little... So the final, yeah. the final closing of this yeah. whole love dynamic. Yeah. You love him, and she's like, yeah. yeah. How have you been a bitch for, like? Yeah. The way she rolls his own eyes at him. Like, he doesn't get it. Yeah. Like, why would he get it? Yeah. Like, oh. No, don't worry it's about it. not that. Him. Yeah. I'm not being my brother. Yeah. He's my brother. And you're like... See, that is everybody... That should be everybody in the cinema at that point. We're like, what What are we talking about? Even now, he's, he's thinking, that, that look there, he's thinking about those kisses. That first of all was like, oh my God. He grabs her really aggressively around yeah. the back of the head as well. And now we're like, best mates. So everything's okay now, I yeah, guess. Yeah, done. That's done. It. I mean, that's yeah. that's wham bam. Thank you, man. Yeah. There we go. Setting him on fire. Do you like the idea of funeral pyre? I think that's where I'd like to go. Yeah. Yeah. We could, we could put one in the garden. Awesome. I like a barbecue. I just think it invite... smells like <laughs> no. burning flesh and plastic, rubber, and all that kind could of. Could you stuff. not take the mask off? They're all getting cancer. Why did he They're put the mask back cancer. on Darth? That's his dad. Yeah. He didn't want the mask on him. He didn't want to yeah, die. Because he's now burning him as Darth Vader and not as his dad. Well, the plastic's melting into the body and his flesh yeah. and stuff. That's, that's yeah, messed up. You, you've seen, like, if you like, what happens, like, if you melt plastic and it yeah, just goes into a plastic pool. Car and then, then Yeah. And then when it, when it cools down, it's just plastic. So at that point, like, he's going to burn him. He's going to come back. He's not coming back to ashes. He's coming back to as a melted, melted plastic. Disease, yeah gross thing yeah and who at some point it's like I didn't think this through because now I've got to clear this away it was easier to bury it and also it's not good for the environment you think about the forest at Moon of Endor like and those all these Ewoks they don't want that <clears> stinking <throat> plastic yeah. rubbish melting the woods mm. so I'm going to say it the Yub Yub song is shit. oh yeah yeah it's terrible it's one of the only things I like about the re-release versions is that there's yeah. a bit more of an epic big song that kind I of agree. culminates and yeah, builds it's, up it's nice this it's is so trash. much better and like, look at how people are partying in the background it's embarrassing they're doing like, dancing like this right like, yeah it's like you've just like destroyed the empire you freed the galaxy yeah. and we're having a little party to this why are they why are they partying with the Ewoks why yeah. do they even care why yeah. aren't they on the spaceship somewhere yeah. like getting the vodka out I mean That's I don't it. even know why they would be here no who cares yeah, let them do their thing and whatever but yeah, look, look. You see him. He's just pathetically like, mm. yeah. It's 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 lame. Yeah, and there he is. There he is. There's Sebastian Shaw, like actual Darth Vader. Then there's slow clap going off in the background. Bizarre. Out of time. Yeah. And there we've got like an ensemble shot. And then that's it. That's it. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. That's Star Wars, baby. What a load of shit. Yeah. <laughs>